the movie opens with a herd of horses passing through Iceland's snowy winter. During their long, arduous journey, they are spooked by an unknown and loud-breathing entity. The entity then makes its way to a barn full of sheep, and the sheep look at the creature in astonishment. The movie then cuts to a farmer named Ingvar, cleaning the barn as his wife Maria is plowing the field with the tractor. Maria and Ingvar are a loving married couple. They are childless and live with their cat, dog, and a herd of sheep on a beautiful but remote farm in Iceland. They live quite a mundane life. After cleaning the barn, Ingvar returns home with his dog and changes to his regular clothes. He washes his hands with soap and prepares lunch for his wife and himself. Later, Ingvar joins his wife in the barn and assists the pregnant sheep in giving birth to lambs. The day is a success and all sheep give birth to healthy lambs. Several days pass by and the farmer couple get on with their lives. After the lambs become old enough, the couple tags their ears. They are quite content with the number of lambs birthed, which they say is much higher than last year's number. One day, one of the sheep unexpectedly goes into labor and gives birth to a strange lamb. The lamb looks like a hybrid of a human and a sheep. It has a sheep's head, but the hands and feet of a human. Puzzled, the couple take the lamb to their home to examine it. Maria increasingly starts spending more and more time tending to the newborn lamb. The lamb brings the couple so much joy that they ultimately decide to raise it in their home as their daughter. The couple name the lamb Ada and Ingvar makes a cradle for the baby sheep. They keep Ada in their bedroom by the window. One day, Maria and Ingvar find Ada's mom missing from the barn and later find her outside their bedroom window trying to get close to its offspring. They do not think much about it and take the sheep back to the barn. Several days pass by and the couple spends most of their time looking after Ada. They watch TV with her and also sing the lamb lullabies. One day, Maria asks Ingvar to look after the lamb and goes to work on the field. Ingvar carries the baby for a while and when she falls asleep, he puts her on the couch and goes out to work in the shed, but forgets to close the door behind him. Ada's biological mother again sneaks out of the barn and cries out for her daughter outside Maria's bedroom window. Later, when Maria and Ingvar return home, they find Ada missing. They panic and look for their adoptive daughter throughout their home, but fail to find her. Worried, they venture out. Ingvar assures his wife that they will locate her and goes to look for Ada by the nearby river while Maria checks the barn and the nearby fields. They search for Ada separately for hours but fail to locate her. When the couple reunite and almost resign, they suddenly hear Ada's voice. They then notice Ada standing by her biological mother's sheep in the mist and immediately rush towards her. Maria embraces Ada and Ingvar wraps his warm coat around her. When they proceed to take Ada back home, her mother tries to follow them, but an enraged Maria yells at it to go away. Several more days pass by. Ada starts walking on her two feet and Maria starts taking her out in the field. Unbeknownst to the couple, Ingvar's brother Peter is kidnapped by people he had taken money from. They strip Peter of his belongings and leave him a few miles away from the couple's farm. That evening, Maria keeps having reoccurring nightmares about sheeps cornering her in the barn and taking Ada away from her mother. Maria is then woken up by Ada's mother screaming. Fed up, Maria takes one look at her adoptive daughter and heads straight out with a rifle. Without blinking, Maria shoots Ada's mother dead and drags the sheep away from her home. With a shovel, Maria digs a ditch and buries Ada's biological mother in it. Unbeknownst to her, when she returns home and puts the shovel back, it's revealed that Ingvar's brother Peter, who has arrived at the farmhouse after walking for miles, witnessed the whole incident. After Maria goes back inside, Peter crashes in the barn. The next day, Peter finally discloses the news of his arrival. Ingvar welcomes him inside and Maria serves him warm food. Upon seeing four plates on the table, Peter inquires if they are expecting one more guest. Maria then calls out for Ada, and Peter is stunned to see a sheep with human arms walking on its two feet. Maria introduces Ada to Peter, who is shocked. Many things go through his mind, but he decides to just shut up and eat his meal. Later, Peter helps his brother paint the exterior of his home while Maria takes a bath with Ada. When Peter hears Maria playing with Ada, he goes inside and sees Maria and Ada in the bathtub. Ingvar soon finds Peter missing and goes inside looking for him. Inside, Peter finally confronts Ingvar about the lamb and asks him what that is. Ingvar swiftly replies, happiness, and walks away. Peter follows him upstairs and tries to talk some sense into him, but Ingvar firmly tells him that he is welcome to stay in his home for as long as he wants, but he must not interfere with his and Maria's life. Peter reluctantly agrees. Maria is also not pleased with Peter's presence, but Ingvar asks her to give his brother, who has fallen on hard times, some break. The next day, Peter helps Maria and Ingvar in the field while Ada plays with the dog. Peter has always had a thing for Maria, and during a coffee break, he hits on her, but she blocks his advances and tells him not to act like a child. Peter quickly retorts that it is her who is acting childish playing house with an animal. Later, while cleaning the shed, Peter finds his teenage drum set. 
While he plays the drums, it attracts Ada's attention and she becomes more comfortable going near him. Peter grabs some grass and feeds it to Ada. Ingvar walks in on Peter feeding Ada grass like an animal. Enraged, Ingvar grabs his daughter and warns Peter to back off. Peter tells his brother that it's an animal, not a child, but Ingvar doesn't want to hear any of it and walks away with Ada. Peter only becomes increasingly troubled by Ingvar and Maria's bizarre attachment to Ada. The next day, as the couple sleep, Peter takes Ada on an early morning walk. He takes Maria's rifle with him and takes Ada to the field. After taking her some distance away from the house, Peter points the rifle at Ada, but he can't bring himself to shoot the helpless lamb. He has a tearful change of heart and returns home with her. Maria wakes up and finds Ada missing from her bed. Worried, she looks for her and finds her peacefully sleeping on Peter's lap. Later that day, Maria goes out with Ada to visit someone's grave. It's shown to be Maria and Ingvar's biological daughter Ada's, after whom the baby lamb was named. Peter becomes an uncle-like figure to Ada and takes her fishing with him on Maria's tractor. Seeing Peter showing so much love to Ada, Maria and Ingvar are delighted. They finally get some time to themselves and use the opportunity to make love. Later, the couple have drinks and play cards. Meanwhile, on their way back from fishing, Maria's tractor breaks down. Left with no choice, Peter abandons the vehicle and walks back home with Ada. Peter gives the couple company in drinking and they later watch handball together. However, the Icelandic team loses the game and spoils their mood. To cheer everyone up, Maria plays an old music video of Peter. Peter is slightly embarrassed but eventually owns it and dances with Maria and Ada. As Maria, Peter, and Ingvar get lost in the moment, Ada runs outside after hearing their dog barking at someone. It's the entity from earlier in the movie. The dog chases the figure while a frightened Ada runs back inside and looks at herself in the mirror oddly. The dog is later seen dead in the field. After dancing and playing handball for hours, Ingvar gives up and goes to bed with Ada. With only Maria and him in the kitchen, Peter again makes sexual advances towards Maria. When Maria repeatedly turns down his approach, Peter reveals that he witnessed Maria killing Ada's mother and tries to blackmail Maria into having intercourse with him by threatening to reveal this to Ada. Left with no choice, Maria pretends to be seduced by Peter and lures him into the hall. She kisses him and when he gets distracted, Maria pushes him into a closet and locks him inside. Peter yells at her to open the door, but she plays the piano to drown out his cries until he eventually falls asleep. The next day, Peter comes back to his senses and Maria packs his bags to take him to the bus stop. While waiting for the bus, Maria tells Peter that Ada is a gift and a new beginning. She asks him not to ruin that and Peter nods his head. When the bus arrives, Maria gives him some money. The two then hug before parting ways. Meanwhile, back at home, Ingvar wakes up and finds Peter and Maria missing. He serves breakfast for Ada and himself. Afterwards, Ingvar grabs a jerry can of fuel and goes to fix the broken tractor with Ada. He makes several attempts to get the engine running, but without success. Maria returns home after seeing Peter off. She calls out for Ada and Ingvar, but doesn't get a response. She suddenly hears a gunshot in the distance and fearing the worst, she rushes towards the source of the sound. Maria's worst fear comes true. Ingvar has been shot in the neck by the entity from earlier in the movie, who is revealed to be a hybrid of a ram and a man. As Ingvar struggles to stay alive, Ada sits by her adoptive father's side with tears in her eyes. The entity then takes Ada's hand and proceeds to take her away. Ingvar tries to grab her hand and stop her, but Ada lets go of his hand and walks away with her biological father. Maria eventually finds Ingvar and breaks into tears. She shakes him and pleads with him to stay with her, but Ingvar passes away in her arms. A bereaved Maria grieves in despair for the loss of her husband and new child. With this, the movie ends. Thanks for watching, guys.